The first mode, two megawatt hydrogen dump truck, courtesy of first mode. GeekWire reports that the Pacific Northwest will be one of seven regional clean hydrogen hubs, H2 hubs, as announced by the U.S. DOE. The feds are pouring a billion dollars into kickstarting a hydrogen fuel infrastructure across the United States. A process of bids and evaluations, a bit of whittling, according to GeekWire, and voila, 79 applicants produce a single winner in the PNW. Lisa Stifler of GeekWire calls hydrogen the Swiss army knife of clean energy. As she accurately points out, the issue, as with all clean fuels, is that production is limited and the infrastructure to dispense does not exist. Also, it's not necessarily green. In its production, that is. However, Washington and the PNW as a whole have one of the cleanest energy grids in the country. The fact that 17 companies also are on board with a project that will also produce thousands of jobs across the region doesn't hurt the cause. Hydrogen can be produced from water utilizing electrolysis. And if it's produced from green sources such as solar, wind, or hydro generation, it's also green. It can also be made from fossil fuels, but this is a much dirtier process it's not completely green. The idea of the various projects being supported by the DOE is to create truly green hydrogen. In the article, Sierra Club Executive Director Ben Jealous throws a bit of shade at the oil industry. One, calling it big oil because small oil is somehow greener. Regardless, Mr. Jealous claims that big oil is going to use hydrogen production to lock in pollution and non-economic uses of gas for decades to come. Newsflash, Mr. Jealous, we're already locked into fossil fuels for decades to come. And, yep, there's an and, without fossil fuels, we'd have no bridge technologies to make a successful and smooth transition to green fuels.